hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss about uh, the module 2 question paper i mean the model questions and the scheme for module 2 <coughs> so what are the primary goals of conducting a literature review in academic research so what are the different what are the goals primary goals of conducting a literature review in the academic research goals in the sense why why we have to go for the literature review and what is the need of the literature review so that was the question so here you can start writing uh, the answer for this here see the primary goal of the literature review is to know the use of content ideas or approaches in the literature to correctly identify a problem that is vaguely known beforehand and to advocate a specific re-approach adopt, adopted uh, to understand the problem or to access the method of the choice to be used. So here what are the things are already been done and what are the things we can do as a new things will be definitely the uh, itself is a goal. So that's what you cannot search for the topic primary goal where is the primary goal topic no just go to the content also because the notes have been i mean questions have been prepared very trickily right so new and existing knowledge is the topic for it okay so that is you can also write a research review process like idea research published okay all these things you can publish the text data established data depending on the marks so what is the what, uh, what is the Mars? 7 Mars. So 7 Mars, how many is 14 points you have to write maximum that you write. Okay. Next, second question. <clears throat> how does a new and existing knowledge can contribute to the research process and explain the relevant points? Again, same topic they have asked. So what you can do is, so first question you have to, you are writing from here to here examples next is start with the review process for next topic seven steps you write and also you write from there every point till here okay so now you know in the first topic itself the first page is for first topic you are having goals goals all those things then take an examples and all there uh, from here around from here where does the existing knowledge come from from there you start and then you end till here okay so that will be your answer for eight marks so what are the data sheets and write uh, and uh, uh, status sheets and write their content so data sheets i guess topic is separate topic might be there reading a data sheet is the topic for this question okay this they have asked for around uh, five marks yeah enough around uh, 12 13 points are there okay you can write easily uh, for 10 five marks 10 10 points you can easily write i hope that is easy for you guys next uh, question is explain the various steps involved in the critical and creative reading process so this is again critical and creative reading that is again uh, one more topic is there yes how many marks they have asked let's see eight marks so the content might be less I guess you should do the what elaborative work ah, 16 points are there hopefully one two four points plus four five ten fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eight nine nineteen points are there 
so at any 16 points should get you eight marks okay so also if you feel like uh, you, you forget some points and all you keep on asking yourself what is critical and what is creative reading and go to the my uh, like my topic or that video re uh, understand and just open that video if you want full marks just go through the, those videos and try to understand what is being explained in that then include those all the points along with the points i might have definitely explained the extra topics also that you see and the major problem with the videos is like uh, the audio is not so uh, visible so that i'm trying to solve because maybe i don't know what is the problem sometimes i have to switch on the fan because it is too hot maybe because of that and uh, now i'm i'm not doing that so so definitely there is little bit clarity is there the second thing i changed microphones twice also maybe my there is a problem in my laptop i will just try to fix it but as of now it is fixed and uh, uh, it was only the noise was huge only when there was a fan uh, now i'm trying to avoid fan but it is too hot in mangalore so please uh, reduce your volume and uh, uh, listen okay and you can definitely able to you know uh, listen to the def uh, the topics what i am explaining uh, try to compromise this time so i will try to uh, i have already tried and uh, this video what i am uploading is now definitely has very less noise okay so critical and creative reading there are around 20 points are there you can take around uh, 12 points uh, i mean how many marks 16 points you can take so that will be uh, equal to eight more next define term citation describe three functions of citation so let's copy this functions of citations yes so it starts from the topic always remember uh, this is asked for how many marks five marks so you don't have to write this citation topic entirely for example the citation topic starts from here see citations and uh, functions and attributions you just have you will just get only one marks for citation see here define citation term citation so you will get only one marks that is this one so citation refers to the credit uh, given to the others for their work while allowing the readers to trace the source of the uh, you know publication if needed this is completely enough for one marks now you don't have to write all these things for this question what is the question define the term citation describe the three functions of citation so, so you have to start directly jump to the three what main functions of the citations what are the three main functions verification function acknowledgement function documentation function verification is nothing but any author when he or she reads your paper he wants to verify whether it is right or not for example if i say the world population as of now is reaching around 8.3 billion dollar uh, i mean sorry sorry 8.3 billion so 8 point uh, from where do i get that particular number so i have to write the citation right so i will be writing the citation there so that citation will help me to verify the data verify the information verify the uh, the whatever the given uh, the sentence whether it is there or not so for that we need next we are having acknowledgement function I, definitely i need to acknowledge the other person who has contributed already before me so that is acknowledgement and next we are having documentation function definitely you need to document scientific concepts and historical progress of any particular technology over the years so for that also the citations will be helpful so three functions verification acknowledgement and the documentation function you have to write so and there are some of the actual goals of the citations and acknowledgements and does do, do not benefit the reader that is also you can write if possible so 
for forever five, forever five marks one marks is for your definition and one marks each for this particular all the three these things and finally conclude uh, your answer with uh, these things and that will get you one mark so that will be total five marks next we are having explain how knowledge flow through the citation through a citation network using a flow diagram so knowledge citation uh, knowledge flow so that is the topic so let's go to the module 2 knowledge flow yes so that is been asked for how many marks knowledge flow seven marks good so seven marks there is a huge huge information it can be asked for 10 marks also so make sure you are explaining this knowledge flow through transfer i have detail video you know which explains this topic exchanging knowledge is very important that means imagine you are one of the author you have submitted uh, published one paper now i am the another author i have published another paper now imagine i have cited your work okay so then how exactly the knowledge transfer occurs my knowledge is transferred to you now your knowledge is transferred to me for example if i have cited your work your knowledge is transferred to me now whatever knowledge i got i will share with my co-authors so that knowledge is transferred from me to my co-authors okay and then after that okay once the co-author is being done is shared now the author two or three of mine might be the co-author of your paper okay imagine they already knew you they have worked with you they got published the work now already knowledge has been transferred to them now you whatever the knowledge is transferred to them definitely they they, they had exchange with me also similarly now the institute now uh, information the knowledge from your institute has come to my institute now now my institute also knows whatever work is being done in your institute similarly the author different author k author or author a author t author or of these are the two uh, authors and three authors of the institute one this is paper a paper b so knowledge transferred many ways look here there from here to here and from him to him from him to him because imagine you have read this paper i have not read this i mean my co-author have not read this paper i have read this paper so i got the knowledge from here from me from me to him it will go to him from him to the third author something like that so like that journal x not only between the authors between the papers between the journals and between the institutes and finally the between the research topic one to research topic two because the same title i cannot publish definitely it will be different so this is the main thing that you have to explain in this particular topic which carries huge marks so explanation carries three marks diagrams carries two marks that is five marks again you can extend your answer with the, this example co-authorship network that might you will get you around two marks and diagram one more somehow it will be 10 marks next explain how knowledge flow through yeah that is seven marks is done so that is uh, the end of the module two so module two has got a uh, huge uh, diagrams all those things make use of that and then definitely you will get okay